so in the starting i just want to tell you if you want to do any of these following things with your device this is the same method for everything so hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i will be telling you how you guys can change your miui firmware region uh, without losing any type of user data right so here you can see uh, right now i am on miui pad global and i want to switch to the china region room and uh, i will be doing this that thing in this video without losing any data so let's get started so guys first of all you have to grab your pc and then open the chrome browser and in the chrome browser you have to download the first tool which is show me flash tool now what you have to do is you have to simply go on this link in description and uh, after going on that link you have to simply download the latest version of the show me flash tool and you can download uh, it from the any link which you prefer i'm downloading it from the media file but i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again and after this you have to uh, download the firmware of your device so in my case i have a redmi pad so i will be downloading the my redmi pad firmware and if you have any other device just simply search on the google your device name with the firmware word and you will see the list of the firmwares for your device so here you can see there are many firmwares uh, versions available for my device the global china europe and uh, as you know i have to switch my uh, firmware from global to china so i will simply click on the china and now in the china you can see there are two types of rom with uh, first is recovery rom and second is fast boot rom so remember for this uh, method which i will be telling you in this video you have to download the fast boot rom right so here you can see the size different between the fast boot rom and the recovery rom is also uh, huge so remember you have to download the fast boot rom and in future if miui upgrade their rom uh, versions and uh, like they are planning to release only one fr firmware which will be fast boot as well as the recovery so you have to simply download that thing right so right now there are two different things the fast boot and recovery so remember you have to download the fast boot rom and after downloading it what you have to do is you have to search the adb setup tools right you have simply just go on the google and search adb setup and on the click on the first link which will be uh, on the google and and now after going on this link you have to simply download the platform tools folder so here you can see you have to simply swipe down a little bit and now here you can see uh, the link android sdk platform tools now simply this uh, download this zip file and extract it uh, what does it allow you to basically this will this tool will allow you to connect your device through your pc right if you have already downloaded it, you don't need to download this thing again but if you are new and you are doing this for the first time then uh, just simply download it right now here you can see i have downloaded all the files uh, in my local disk e and folder okay so here you can see this is the uh, china firmware fast boot rom uh, firmware so here you can see now what you have to do is you have to extract it right so first step will be after downloading is you have to simply extract it so here you can see uh, like this you will get after extracting you will get the folder like this right so now here you can see simply click on extract here and you will get the folder like this now i will suggest you to move that folder in the local disk c just like here you can see in this video i have uh, extract the folder and move it to the local disk right so now you have to also keep one thing in the mind that your uh, basically firmware files should not be in any other folder so now uh, what you should do is you have to like uh, let me go back and here after clicking on the folder your all files should be listed there right so now what you have to do is you have to copy this inner folder if you have any you have to just simply cut it and paste that folder in the local disk so whenever you click on the folder uh, you will be directly redirected to the file uh, basically firmware files right so let me show you once again and clarify what i was saying so here you can see as i tap on the folder all the files are listed here so you have to remember that you simply put the extract firmware files in your local disk directly don't put it in any other folder otherwise you might get any error in the future so now after doing all the steps what you have to do is you have to simply open the mi flash tool which you have downloaded in the starting of the video so here you can see this is my xiaomi mi flash tool and dot exe file basically so i will just double click on it and uh, open this file so it's basically taking a little bit time all right and uh, in the meanwhile what you have to do is you have to simply go in the extracted firmware folder and then copy the path as in uh, as you can see in this video so uh, you have to copy that part and paste that path in your mi flash dot exe tool file basically whatever you can say so here you can see i have pasted that uh, folder path at the top of my that mi uh, flash tool like this and now let me first maximize it and uh, now you have to simply uh, basically now you have to put your device into the fast boot mode by pressing the volume down and the power button so let me show you the, my hand cam here you can see i am pressing the volume down and the power button to put my device into the fast boot mode and now simply connect it to my pc uh, through the data cable which comes with uh, my tablet only right so after connecting it uh, I, have to, I will simply click on the refresh on the mi flash tool and my device should be listed here but here you can see my device is not visible here so i will basically just go into my device manager to see what's the wrong uh let me see so here you can see in my device manager 
uh, it's taking a little bit time so here you can see in my device manager in other devices my android folder android is uh, directed by, by the pc but i think there uh, the drivers are not properly installed so i will simply click on the update drivers and go over there and click on the android phone and now uh, i will simply click on android bootloader interface uh, if you have uh, if you also face this problem then just simply do this thing and it will fix your problem definitely right and uh, yeah i forgot to tell you in the starting of the video make sure your device bootloader is unlocked before doing all these steps and uh, make sure to install adb drivers uh, from the exe file in starting only all right otherwise you might get another error here and if you don't know how to install the adb drivers just simply search on the youtube how to install them and you will find tons of video so after updating the drivers you can see as i click on the refresh my device is listed over here and now uh, the main part is the main part of all the all this video comes over here here in the bottom you can see three options clean all save user data and clean all and lock so make sure you click on the save user data otherwise uh, if you click any other option you may get into trouble clean will simply clear all your device and make it as new as uh, it was when you purchased it clean all and lock will also lock your bootloader uh, as well as clean your all data and save user data will simply save your user data and only change the firmware which we want in this video right so after doing this you have to simply click on the flash and here you can see the flashing has been started and it will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes so yeah so here you can see after 10 uh, basically after 10 to 15 minutes something here you can see uh, i am seeing error message over here but you don't have to pay attention to it because device will automatically reboot and in your, if in your case it is not rebooting and it's still stuck on the fast boot mode after you see this error message don't worry just simply manually uh, reboot your device by long pressing the power button so here you can see um, my device on my device the miui china firmware has successfully flashed so here you can see my all that recent applications which last time you saw in the starting of the video are still open and of course in my miui pad here you can see my miui 13.1.7 version is flashed which was uh, released in the china and all my stories you can see all my data is still there with me so here you can see uh, for the proof wallpaper and personalization you can you only see this option in the china rom so definitely all the chinese application are still there and uh, along with the applications which i installed earlier on using on my tablet are still there but remember <laughs> after you switch to the china firmware all the google apps will stop working and they will simply uh, basically lag so here you can see i have just opened my get apps and simply searching for the play store because i saw that on uh, in one video youtube video that uh, on get apps you see the option but on my case i cannot see the play store on get apps so yeah definitely so here you can see none of the google apps are working uh, you have to find the workaround of this and yeah i will definitely do because i use the google apps uh, but still here you can see the, there is a proof all my user data is uh, stored all my applications are there and i have successfully flashed the miui china firmware on my device without losing any data so that's in that's it in this video i hope you really liked it if you did then just give the thumbs up give, give a thumbs up and yeah i will see you in my next video